this Black Friday, you can sleep in. Black from all over the region. Retailers are calling this their soup. 149,000 stores offering sales in the cash sales changing hands. The stores. The flu season is off to its earliest. It seems to be a previously unknown variant of the flu. Really? Suspected case catching many experts off guard. Today I was feeling like maybe I. On the breaking news, leading with unconfirmed reports of a, a smallpox small outbreak, outbreak is a highly rehearsed scenario. And National Guard units converging no on a hospital trains. in Central The bridges are closed. It's more than a is a very real more danger. More than AIDS. More than a There's bowl. not enough vaccines. No, let me stop you there. This is not a panic situation. An entire American city. Well known as the Green Poison, Central Park has been converted to a mass burial ground. Power outages, gas line leaks, fires. The government is expecting another night of widespread looting. The people of New York are begging for more. available units. Fire and health to the first responders are either dead or no resources available. They treat it like animals. It's not a job. We're not trained for this. When we were activated, we knew the situation was bad. Worse than anyone knew. We are an elite, highly skilled group of embedded agents. They only call us when everything else has failed. We have no rules. We have no limits. Our job is to protect what remains. We are your co-workers. We are your neighbors. We might even be your friends. But when we get the call, we leave everything behind. We are the Division. System analytic computer is activated. All ISAC systems are confirmed online. Take cover at the marker to begin weapon verification. Weapon test initialized. Up and fire at the highlighted targets. Primary weapon test successful. Agent, I've confirmed that your fellow agent Fei Lao has arrived here. Check in with her when you get inside. You are now entering a safe area. Hey, what you need? We're losing this whole neighborhood. Rioters are moving through, in force, and headed this way. Put your people there. I see someone else got the call. I'm Agent Fei Lao, Division. Activated the same time as you, part of the second wave of us going in. I don't know what happened to the first wave, but unfortunately, there's still lots left for us to do. We don't have much intel, and we don't have the luxury of failure. Not with Manhattan under lockdown and Brooklyn on the brink. People like me, and you, we're what's left to hold the line. With any luck, we'll have more to go on once we rendezvous with the Commander. More about the situation, about who's turning the streets into a war zone. Anything that's going to help us do what we're supposed to do. If you'll excuse me, Lieutenant. Officer Hazen and his team are handling situation reports. If you're looking for a hot spot, that's who you want to talk to. Complete your activation at the terminal to enable Directive 51 operational status and equipment. Identity confirmed. SHD equipment activated. Thank God you're here, Agent. I've never seen Brooklyn like this. We're barely hanging on. I'll be your point of contact for any emergency ops. We've had plenty of action, and it's not letting up. Jesus. I'm not gonna have any hair left when this thing is done.
Over there. There's a bar behind that building. Best whiskey sours in Manhattan. If we take this city back, I'll buy you a drink. Sorry. I mean, when we take it back. Here it comes. The rest of us should be in this chopper. Can't believe it's finally happening. authorized by Executive Order and DHS Directive 51. Whoever you are, we're under an all-out assault. I'm not sure how much help you... Uh, oh, screw it. We'll take anything you can give us. How are you on my comms? We 
got your back. Just try not to shoot at anyone who's trying to help you. Over. Dispatch, situation outside is now under control. My official report, the division saved our sorry asses. Thanks for the report, Bravo Squad. Uh, stay alert out there and keep it frosty. I'm glad you made it. Now let's rebuild our base. Go on in and have a look around. I finally got some transportation, so I'm inbound. Let's do this. Agent, we need our base up and running, and we need to show the people of New York they're getting their city back. Our base of operations has potential, but right now it's a piece of shit and we've got no one to staff it. To get this place where it needs to be, we need people who know what they're doing. Like doctors. There's a virologist running a field hospital over at Madison Square Garden, but the whole area has gone to shit. With her, we can get our medical facilities online. Without her... The JTF commander Benitez is out in the field and he's gone offline. Bring him back. We need him to set up a functional security wing, and it'll do a hell of a lot for morale. We've also got to restore basic services. We need power and the intel the grid can give us. They had a guy working on that, but it sounds like he ran into trouble patching us in. Without him, it's lights out. Isaac can map itself to each of the wings in the base and sync their progress so we can have a bigger picture of what's happening this here. An and the more stable this base is, the, the better shape the city will be in. All groups sports activities have been canceled. Please do not gather in large groups. The security wing needs things. some love. And Captain Benitez. The JTF loved the guy. He can mobilize them and help us get the intel and firepower we need to get all these hostels off the streets. Hey, bad news. I'm not gonna be able to get out there. Not with my goddamn leg like this. I'll do what I can from here, but it's not the same. You have no idea how much I wanted to be in the field. I trained for a scenario like this my entire life, but it's worse than anything we could have imagined. You know how they won't let you get too close to anyone, so it won't mess you up when you're finally activated? Well, I did that, and it didn't fucking work. I'm attached. These are my people, this is my city. We're taking it back. Oh. Look, you need to... Yeah, okay. Okay. They're counting on us. Let's not let them down. We've got a rioter takeover at Madison Square Garden. The JTF and Sarah were using the site as a field hospital, but armed hostiles swarmed in. Now they've got the med staff as hostages. We need them. Especially Jessica Candle, the virologist who is running the place. Find her, send her to the base, and clean up what's left. Hatched in. Let's see what I can find. Can you see the CCTV feed? Looks like Candle and her staff are being forced to treat their wounded. That's the only reason they're still alive. It looks like they've got people upstairs, in a restaurant. Got the medics safely across. Candle and all staff accounted for. No casualties. We're off to a good start, agents. Wish I could have had your back out there, but I think we make a hell of a team anyway. When you get back to the base, we'll talk to Candle, and we'll see what she can do for us. Well, look who it is. Thanks for getting me out of the garden. I've been in some hostile work environments before, but Jesus. Of course, it's not like this place is gonna win any prizes either. Antique equipment, zero staff patients lining up out the door. This isn't gonna cut it. We're doing the best we can, Dr. Candle. Any suggestions you might have, I'm happy to listen. I know, I know, beggars, choosers, all that crap. What matters is beating this thing, but I can't do that without knowing more about it. Here's a good place to start. Sarah is pretty sure Dr. Gordon Amherst had something to do with the outbreak. God. That asshole. Saw him present a paper at Columbia once, he nearly started a riot. If he's part of this, I need to talk to him. 
Anything of his you can find. Notebooks, laptops, close personal friends, I need that too. And we need to talk about live samples and antibodies. You're gonna be busy. And you'll be? Fixing this. Saving lives. Now if you'll excuse me, I'll get started. One of our top priorities is securing power. Our best bet for a secure source is a line running through the unfinished Passway project. A small crew under a former combat engineer named Paul Rhodes went in to do the job. They haven't come out, and his comms are offline. Get us that power and recover Rhodes. In that order. One's important. The other's vital. Sarah was using the site as a mass grave, which explains why the cleaners have targeted it. Avoid contact if possible, but do what you have to do to make sure Rhodes gets us the juice we need. That is, if he's still alive. Word here is that Rhodes is a bit of a wild card. He's got the skills we need, but he's a little eccentric. Which is a nice way of saying he's a paranoid jackass. This project was intended as an extension of the subway system. They didn't get to finish it before the dollar flu hit. Then again, construction in New York always runs on its own schedule. Activate power relay. Confirmed. Local power grid online. Whoever just turned on the lights, you're either JTF or you're really fucking lost. Either way, thanks. This is Fei Lao patching in. We have help on the way, Rhodes. Whoever's down here, head for the secondary relay room. And when you see the dead bodies, get your masks on quick. Otherwise, you're dead. No, no, fucking thing. Jesus. All right, that's a wrap. System's clean, border's green, and we got enough juice to light this place up like Vegas. I'm gonna lock everything down, so no one will come in behind us and fuck this up. You can't help me with that, so you might as well get your ass topside. I'll follow you when I'm done. And that's all she wrote. Look, I don't do sentimental, but you got me out of a jam there, so thanks. But I know you want more from me than just warm fuzzies for saving my sorry ass. Like getting this shit all up to par. Oh, government standard, I see. Nice to see they're still keeping the bar low enough that even roaches can walk right over it. You want quality? You go private. That's what I learned in Basra. Oh, yeah. See, you can't just live on farts and good intentions. Power, water, all the bells and whistles. Not that you're the first one to try it. I hear a bunch of you people went missing when the shit hit the fan. Got some theories about that myself. My point is, when you're out there hooking up the city, poke around a bit, see what you can find out. Maybe the virus got him. Maybe the brutes got him. Maybe the city opened up its rotten core and swallowed them whole. I'd believe that. It's happened before. Fucking city got my wife. Miracle I'm still here, really. You know they say a pessimist is a disillusioned romantic? Well. Whoever said that's a fucking asshole. Go on. See what you can find out. I'll let you know which shit to hook up. Careful this fucking city doesn't eat you too. Agent, we, meaning Dr. Candle, need you to secure the Hudson Rail Yards area. The yards have become a tent city for the destitute and desperate. The people forced out of every place else end up here. What we're looking for is blood samples from those refugees. Clean ones, sick ones, and ones who might have survived the dollar flu for Dr. Candle to work her magic on. So if you secure the site, we can do the rest. Agent, you need to hear this. Faye tells me the cleaners are holding the entire tent city prisoner. That's what it looks like, and it fits the cleaner ammo. If you wanted to eradicate every last vestige of detectable virus, where would you go? Wherever the biggest concentrations are. Refugee camps, shanty towns. Jesus, you don't think they'd... Draconian solution, but highly effective. Sure, if you're a genocidal maniac. You ever wonder if we even deserve to survive this thing? Every day, Doctor. Every day. Good luck, agents. 
This is Dr. Candle. Sampling team, can you hear me? What's your head? Go ahead, Doctor. Oh, Lieutenant, good. Listen, I need you guys to log intake info from everybody you get a sample from. Age, gender, ethnicity, state of health on a 10-point scale. Then label and group the samples according to... Excuse me, Doctor. But maybe this could wait until we get confirmation the op is actually complete. You saying you don't have faith in your agent? Just focusing on the task at hand. Lieutenant, you'll radio the doctor as soon as the area is secured. Yes, ma'am. Don't worry, Doctor. We'll get it all worked out. I hope so. It's only the survival of the human species we're talking about. That should do it, Agent. Solid work. Yes, good work. Now, sample team, listen up. Like I was saying, I'm gonna need those blood samples labeled and organized so we can track corroborating factors. Let's move this discussion to a different channel so we don't bore the agent. This tunnel is a major supply line for food, meds, and weapons from the outside world. But we've got a group of rioters with explosives trying to break through the quarantine there. A JTF garrison is doing its best to hold the line, but they're weakening. And if the rioters blast through the floodgates, the tunnel floods, the supply lines cut, and a whole lot of people die. We've got confirmation that Benitez is there in the thick of it. We need that location secured, and Benitez back here at base. Captain Benitez, this is Fei Lau. We are division agents, and we have eliminated the threat to the perimeter. I'm patching you into our comms so you can direct support to where we're needed. That's good news, but we still got plenty of bad. Some of those bastards made it through when they're planting explosives on the tunnel floodgates. They're trying to get out come hell or high water. If those bombs go off, you know which one we're gonna get. Damn it, that was too close. They don't care who they kill to get what they want. Come on up, and I'll meet you in the control center. Jesus, what we got left. Glad to meet you, whoever you are. Hope we can count on you and yours this time, because... We got a hell of a fight ahead of us. Listen up! We got good news, and we got bad news. Looks like we got division agents for backup, but these guys out there, they just won't let... Come on over. Captain Benitez even found some fresh coffee. Uh, I just happened to walk by what's left of Kerman's. So what we're responsible for is Midtown to Lower Manhattan, mainly because nobody can get off of this island right now, including us. And the biggest problem we have is manpower, or lack thereof. Right now we got criminal elements occupying and controlling most of these neighborhoods. Rikers, cleaners, street gangs. Yeah, I don't have enough people to secure a block, much less maintain order and safety, so... Basically, these assholes are running around taking whatever they want and killing whoever they want because we got nobody to stop them. Which means we get the task of cleaning up these neighborhoods so we can at least get food and medical aid to the residents. I don't know. I mean, an area this size, this many bad guys, I don't think you people can handle it alone. I mean, no offense. I just don't like the idea of throwing you to the wolves. Captain, we are the wolves. Right, well... Then maybe you can convince the division to send more of your guys. For the time being, what you see is what you get. I can't believe I'm begging the feds to take over my city. Any intel we receive, you'll be the first to know. Good luck. You'll need it. So that little weasel picked a bunch of department stores to spread his little Black Friday surprise, and we everyone knows Abel's. It might possible. even be Amherst Ground Zero. We need to find an original, unmutated strain of the virus to compare with the mutations our patients have. And the only place to find them is on the original bills tainted with the original virus. Which means we need you to head over to Abel's and bring back any tainted bills you can find. Okay, Agent, you're looking for any bills our pal Amherst used to spread his original virus strain. We know he used Abel's as one of his primary launching pads, so with any luck, there should be plenty of contaminated greenbacks lying around in there. As well as civilians. The store is one of the bigger refugee camps we've been monitoring. Not to make a whole thing out of it, but if you don't find some unmutated virus I can use as a comp, we may as well give up any hope of creating a vaccine. So, you know, no pressure. I'm impressed, Agent. Locating undamaged bills with original strain virus in that place was like looking for needles in a haystack. But damned if you didn't pull it off. 
I can't wait to get my hands on them. Oh, an agent? I'm buying the next round. Assuming there ever is one. Hey there, I... Give me a second. Yes? I'm sorry, Dr. Kendall, but the sample's not producing results that... Did you run them at room temperature? Uh, you said... I said room goddamn temperature. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're within temperature variances. You know what? I'll do it myself. Just put it down and we'll both pretend this never happened. Hard to believe you can't find good help in the middle of a pandemic, right? Anyway, the good news is we are up and running on what you've brought in so far. Dr. Ellis taking over the hospital wing was a lifesaver. Now I can focus on research. My wife always says I'm better with pathogens than with people. My ex-wife, Bunny. Anyways, you just keep doing what you're doing. We are halfway to a blueprint for a vaccine and with your help, we will get the rest. We've pinpointed the cleaner's HQ. They're using a construction site as a base of operations and supply depot. Kinda hard to hide when you're cooking up enough napalm to roast Canarsie. What Captain Benitez means is that they've got their main Napalm B production facilities there. Without that, the cleaners are a lot more manageable. Of course, you can't just waltz in and pull the plug. This Joe Farrell guy seems to be their head honcho, and he's pulled in half their manpower to defend the place. You're gonna have to take him out to do Thank the you. job right. This is so great. Agent, the cleaners keep starting fires and we don't have the resources to put them out. If we don't shut down their napalm production, we're one stiff breeze away from the entire borough going up. The thing is, they got their main production facility in the middle of their HQ, which is where you're going. Find it, close it down, and make sure they can't rebuild. Which means taking out boss man Joe Farrow. If he walks, he'll just start it all over again. Now you all know what we're doing here and how important it is. You all know what's going to happen if we don't burn this thing out. These people count on us. Our families, our friends, the whole damn world. So that's why we got to hold the line against anyone. And I don't care if they say this from the government. You know their lies. We stop them here. We can still save the city. We can still save the world. We let them through. That everything we've done is for nothing. And we ain't going to let So you know, we could see the explosion from here. Now, there's probably more napalm tanks in the building. Take care of them first, then see what you can do about Pharaoh. Okay, people, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna fall back, we're gonna meet up at the watchtower, and we're gonna hold them there. You hear me? That's where we're gonna make us stand, and that's where they're gonna wish they never met with us. Listen up, whoever you are. I'm guessing you're fed it, but really, it don't, don't matter. matter. You're, you're doing, doing the, the wrong, wrong thing, thing, and you're, you're gonna, gonna die because of it. The men you're facing, they're here to do what no one else had the stones to do. They could have left. They could have gone home to their families. But they stayed to burn this thing out. To make sure it got stopped here. They sacrificed themselves. And then you. You come along and try to fuck it all up because you're not hard enough to do what's got to be done? It ain't gonna work. My boys are better than that. And we're gonna see this thing through over your dead body. Morning. Detonation sequence. Someone should have told Farrell that lighting up was bad for his health. With him out of the way, and their main source of napalm out of commission, the cleaners are going to be a lot easier to deal with. A lot of people on the streets are going to owe you their lives, whether they know it or not. Good work.
Agent, we have a serious issue with the electrical grid in Times Square. I'll let Rhodes fill you in on the details. He'll be your point of contact for this one. Thanks. Here's the deal. The step-down power transformer is on the fritz, and it's causing brownouts as a result. Normally, not a big deal, but Normal left this island a while ago. Let this go long enough, and we get cascade failure across... Our number one priority is getting the Times Square power transformer back online before we lose power for the whole district. But I can walk you through the fix. I think. I hope. Jesus. All right. I'm gonna search the footage for those agents. You're cleared to get back to getting the power online. You sure she's done with you? Because it's not like what I'm working on is important right now. What we need to get this up and running again is a working fuse box. Warren Gate. That's the power company. They sent a crew out to do some repairs. But those never got logged, which means they never happened. Which means the parts, like the box, are still sitting on that van. I got a rough fix on its location. So if you're available... Unfortunately, this ain't a switch and run. You're gonna have to hold out there for a second and make sure everything powers up properly. I'm sorry. It's an exposed position. The Rikers aren't stupid. They'll be coming for you. And after what you did on the way in, they're gonna be out for blood. And we are back in business. The grid looks stable and the lights are on. Once no one's shot out anyway. It looks like Times Square again, and that's gonna mean something to a lot of people. Agent, we recovered some CCTV footage. Shows what happened to at least some of our colleagues in the first wave. Makes me more determined than ever. Mark my words, this ain't the whole story. residence at this apartment complex in Hell's Kitchen. You'll need to get inside and secure anything which confirms a link, notebooks, hard drives, whatever you can find. But there's still civilians in there, and that means the cleaners are on their way to sterilize the place. If Amherst's not the guy, I'll eat my centrifuge. His work has got to be your first priority. We can't just leave those civilians, Doctor. If we don't get this virus figured out, there won't be any civilians left to save. Okay, Amherst's notes were definitely a game changer. Such a schmuck. I always knew he was a shithead. I uploaded a report on it. Have a look. What you're looking at is the smallpox virus. It normally takes one to two weeks for it to incubate in a host, and it's not contagious while it's doing so. Looking at Amherst's notes, it's clear he wanted to change that, to make green poison infectious while it developed, and to speed up that incubation process to make it spread faster. In English, it's more contagious and it reproduces faster. And that's bad. I gave you a chance to work with me, and you decided you were gonna turn me in instead. For God's sake, you don't have to do this. You need help, you've gone crazy! 
that you're back talking to the guy with the gun, I'd say you're the crazy one. Me? I'm feeling real sane about things. Hang on, I'm just finishing up here. I'll be right over. This can't be right. The video's showing division agents going rogue, killing each other. That's not... No. Just... No. Okay, let's just focus on the job. It looks like the shade tech used to create that echo has been hacked. I can't get a read on the agent's identity. If there's a security room near you, we might have a shot at IDing them. If I can upload the surveillance footage and they didn't wipe it. None of what you found is good. To see agents turning on each other, abandoning the mission, it never should have gone down like that. God damn it. Be extra careful from now on, agent. I think you might have just attracted some attention. Can't believe the bullshit that went down in the dark zone at the end there. I know. We had it. Everything I told them was dead on, they made us pull out anyway. And we left our dead behind. Yeah, we're not supposed to do that. Hang on a second. But we don't leave people behind. We're here to make sure this city doesn't get left behind. But the people we're working with, this is fine. We're leaving all of us behind if it's convenient. Look, I don't agree with every decision that's been made, but... I am saying it's time to leave them behind. Their model doesn't work anymore. If we're smart, we cut it loose before it drags us down. Before it kills us. You're talking treason. I'm talking common sense. Look around. There's nothing left to say. The JPM is trying to save a Manhattan that doesn't exist anymore. It is all about power now. Power and survival. They are done, but I am not. And you won't be either. Not if you work with me. The Warren Gate power plant was built in the 20s, back when people thought about building things that would last. Right now, it's also the only source of power for most of Manhattan. That's why we sent a team over to man the place, a team we lost contact with. The last few messages were full of Rikers, so I'm thinking they're at risk. And so are the generators. If we lose them, a lot of people's lights go out. And if we lose those people, well, we're not going to. You can't do this. You'll take out the power for the whole city. <laughs> Only gonna do it if we have to. If our place in the city is not respected. Because if we don't get a place, then my people will make sure nobody's got a place. And until then, we gonna live. I'm headed back to Lex. Keep this place warm for me. Or don't. Your call. You did real good, hooking stuff up. It almost gives a guy like me hope again. <laughs> Well, that's a goddamn miracle. I said almost, Agent Lau. It's what you found while you were out there is keeping me up at night. Looks like I ain't paranoid after all. I'm just right. I mean, here you got the smartest, most powerful, most weaponized agents in the world, and still, somebody goes off the rails. Yeah, well, they're not gonna win, no matter what you might believe. Oh, you think I'm not on your side, Agent? You think I'm just a cynic who doesn't give a shit? I'm a goddamn patriot. That's why this shit upsets me. You know why democracy works? It's a balance. We don't just got rights, we got responsibilities, too. People don't realize just how fucking precious this shit is. Jury duty, voting. Oh, we can all get away from you in a second. You don't do your bit. Nobody gets a free lunch. Hell, this country is set up so that nobody can go run things by themselves. Balance of powers. And then some asshole decides to create the division. It breaks everything. All of the power, none of the accountability. It's the opposite of everything this country stands for. Of course it didn't work. So now, what do we got left? Good intentions. Hey, and us. All of us. And I've got a hell of a lot more than good intentions. We are gonna do this. And we're gonna do it the right way. I want that to be true, Agent. I do. But I don't see what makes you different from the rest. I just hope for all our sakes that you are. For God's 
sake. Let okay, Agent. Those reports of Riker's activity on Lexington just checked out in a big way. A JTF team confirmed. That's where their HQ is located. Yeah, right before they got grabbed off the street. You need to get my people out. Those cons aren't known for their restraint. And this is a golden opportunity to eliminate the Riker's leadership. Let's take advantage of it. This is about taking the Rikers out at the knees. There's no one who can replace Lorraine Barrett. She's the one who organized the escape to Manhattan. They're holding three of my people there. If you can get them out before blowing the lid off, I'd be grateful. All right. Get them out first, but don't jeopardize the mission. We're going in on your heels. The jailbreak ends here. Lau here. I just heard about Ramos, Captain. Glad we reached him in time. Thanks for that. My people are getting into position to breach the hall. Agent, you're gonna wanna unlock the maintenance access. The building blueprints show a security control room down in the basement. Get these looters on the One cut. One cut's gonna make you bleed. But one cut don't kill you. One cut just makes a scar. We're gonna fucking fight him. A deeper cut. We're gonna fucking fight him. We're gonna get him. We're gonna... <laughs> makes you cry. <laughs> but you can turn that cry into a roar, or you can turn it into a whimper. That's your choice. I can't take so you can choose to be a victim, no matter where you at. I can't take Top of the penthouse, in a prison cell, or even free. Roam in your own streets again. <laughs> Complain about the cold, the rats. Complain about who's in charge. Some people want to stay the victim. They want to cry. I'll give you what you want. You want to be the victim? Well, I'll make you one. I'll make you one. Me? I'm going to take what's mine. They say this disease is a tragedy. They say it's the end of the world. High on my long list of things to one fuck on this island is communications. LMB comms discipline is good. They've secured their own cell towers, microwave towers, Wi-Fi hotspots too, as far as I can tell. And it's about time we got our own back online. I sent a team to assess and prep a multifunction base station in Kipps Bay. Would have let us tap into LMB comms once it was online. So it looked good. But then Rikers happened. So if there's any of my team left, Maybe you'll find them and babysit them while they get us up and run. Thank you. Thank you. Is everyone else dead? They didn't break my gear. Thank God. Hello. Hello, anyone copy? This is John Reese. Oh shit, what am I doing? I need, we need to get out of here. We need to go now. Reese, this is Paul Rhodes. We need that antenna patched and secured. And you just got elected to do it. You copy? Yeah, I copy, but these people, they're monsters. They'll kill us. John, John, I need you to take a deep breath and find your balls. And when you find them, finish the fucking job. Okay, okay. I think we need to modify the terms of our agreement. Why, Colonel? It seems to be working perfectly well so far. You get the support of my people and their gear with field intel you couldn't dream of six weeks ago. I get a base of operations, a place on what's gonna be the winning side, and the occasional use of your manpower as needed. Not to mention the occasional surface-to-air missile. Or have you forgotten about that chopper in Brooklyn? Look, my people did the dirty work on that op, Bliss, and eliminating the 
Division Senior Command was as much a benefit to you as to me. Agent, the last thing either we got some evidence about a senior interesting alliance. You might want to take a, a listen. Second wave. And I'm sad to say and we now know what happened to our helicopter back in Brooklyn. Looks like coming to Lincoln. Have a listen. No, don't you. Listen up, Agent. You've got three objectives, and none of them are easy. One, shut down their comms relay. Two, knock out their tactical center. And three, take control of the on-site armory. Because I need those guns for my people. Now go to it. Nice job, Agent. They're still doing the tally, but the weapons you secured should keep the JTF in the field for a long time. That's how you do it. You just kick the leg out from under these LMB mooks. Keep it up, and they're going down. Soldiers of the last man battalion, this is your commanding officer, Lieutenant Colonel Charles Bliss. There were those among us who were angry when the decision was made to leave us behind. Leave us to die, as some people said. But I looked around at this city, and I saw opportunity. I saw what it had been. And I saw what it could be once again if someone had the guts to fight for it. If there were men willing to go out in the streets and take them back from the degenerates and lowlifes who ruled them now, to do what the cowardly government and its fearful, weak soldiers were too afraid to do, and to cut down all the liars and murderers and thieves who stand in the way of peace, we will not look back. We will not compromise. We will do whatever it takes to ensure a better tomorrow for all those who stand with us. And those who stand against us, may God have mercy on their souls. Bliss out. Tell me we got that. Because God damn it, I'm not doing it a second time. Oh, well, look who it is. Hey, hey, it's the conquering hero. Gotta say, I didn't think anybody could pull off what we asked you to do. Best part is you freed up my first responders to go where they could do the most good. Not bad for feds, huh? I've seen worse. Take a look. Every criminal group that we've been dealing with is on the run. They're not all gone, but there's a lot less of them out there. And it shows. Residents are feeling safe enough to come out onto the streets again. JTF was able to help Sarah get their tents back up and running. They've got people lining up around the block, getting food and medical attention. We're finally starting to get some traction out there. Well, I ran into the guy who runs my neighborhood deli in Queens. He's actually talking about reopening at some point. You know, if I squint, I can almost see New York again. How about that? All right, that's enough back padding for one day. LMB's still out there pissing me off. I've got work to do. And so do you, Agent. Get to it. Hey, you got skills, pal. Let's talk Grand Central. The LMB have set up shop there and control the surrounding area. Heavily manned checkpoints, automatic gun emplacements, the place is a freaking fortress. It's a major forward base for them, and it's well supplied with troops and munitions, which they've been moving through the subway tunnels. A small team, well you, going through the subway should be able to get under their perimeter, hitting it from the inside and taking out those turrets before they got any idea what's happening. And when you do, we'll be going in with every combat effective we've got. We can hurt the last man battalion badly. Accessing defense control system. Disable the perimeter turrets. You did it! The perimeter's down. Now, link up with the assault force and finish the sweep. Your shade tech's picking up a lot of hardware. What the hell are the Russians doing with all that processing power? Under normal circumstances, probably spying. 
Now, odds are Chernenko's using all those processors to run some analytic models of the virus. I don't want to get ahead of ourselves here, but I think we've got something. Thanks to you, we have mapped the genetic drift on green poison. Plus, I have ID'd all the aftermarket DNA Amherst bolted onto it. And thanks to those samples you picked up from the survivors, I was able to harvest antibodies against our friendly neighborhood superbug, and that let me lay out a roadmap for a vaccine. Here, take a look. Normally, I'd take point on the team developing that, but they're a little better equipped to handle it in an arbor. And me? Well, I'm stuck here with you. Which is fine. God knows there's plenty left for me to do here. And with Chernenko and maybe Ammer still out there, all it would take is one psycho asking the right questions. Tell me we're not gonna see that. Please. Dr. Dr. Campbell, you're needed in the recovery ward. Dr. Dr. Campbell. Still lots for me to do. Hey. You know we can't survive this again. So please. So, this is the big one. LMB's last foothold on the island is the last place you'd expect those sons of bitches to hole up. The United Nations. And since nobody's gonna pass any sternly worded resolutions to get them out, it's up to us. We've got ears on their comms and eyes on the compound, and it's clear this is where Colonel Bliss wants to make his last stand. It's also likely they're still holding tr- What is with those LMB people? Now they're acting like this is some kind of high crime area, stealing supplies as soon as they hit the ground. Well, that's not happening in my neighborhood. Not if you have anything to say about it. Killed the CEO of the last organized threat to Manhattan. Wasn't easy, and we lost a lot of good people, but you broke the LMB's back. Nobody's gonna be sweeping neighborhoods telling people join or die at gunpoint. Not without Bliss running the show. Still gonna be squads of them out there, but without the big man, we can handle them every day and twice on Sunday. Here I am, Aaron Keener, the first wave's prodigal son. Normally I'd do this face-to-face, -face, but I'm not 100% sure which way you'll jump. You act one way when Ms. Lao is watching, and another way entirely when you're off the leash. That's an interesting contradiction. You see, I think that deep down, you get it. You know, the old rules, laws, governments, those things died on Black Friday. But the feral PMCs, the convicts, the ones smart enough and good enough to take what they need, they'll survive. Me? I'm gonna prosper. Oh, you could too, but you took an oath, right? You got a duty. Those are both ways of saying that your conscience is fucking you. You ask yourself, who has earned a right to tell you what to do? Do you know how many agents died? Oh, the dark zone, just for the brass to give up and put a wall around it. You don't believe me? You should check the place out for yourself. But the people you're working for, they're irrelevant now. Amherst changed how the game is played, and I have got the vision to win. I got Chernenko, I got a DNA printer, and a very interesting recipe book. I'm gonna write my own rules. You should think about getting in on this thing. I'll be seeing you. Agent, the information you found in that lab was the crown jewel. I think we can break this thing now. But we've got some more information. A voice from the grave. Listen to what Amherst has to say. Active echo beacon detected. What you're looking at is 
the smallpox virus, one of the deadliest pathogens on the planet. For centuries, it did a wonderful job of helping keep the human population in check. But times change, and sometimes Mother Nature needs a hand in improving her creations. Like, say, speeding them up a little bit, making them contagious when they should be quietly incubating in a host, or making them more lethal. I didn't come up with the approach on my own. My friend Vitaly is one of the pioneers in the field, and the idea has been around for years. Genome as data. You see, once we digitized DNA, we made it infinitely mutable. We could do a thousand virtual variations in the time it used to take to grow a one lab grade generation of pathogens. And we could pick the best, most lethal combinations and make them real. That's how you make a killer virus, you see. Mix in genetic code from other diseases and you move the sliders all the way up on lethality and virulence. The goal was a 90% mortality rate. I'm not sure my green poison is gonna quite hit that, but honestly, that's just details. As long as most of humanity goes, the Earth stands a fighting chance. Technically, technology is what's killing the planet. But that's not really the case. It's the greed that drives the technology. But a funny thing happened on the way to $100 genome maps and 3D printed plastic toys. Someone figured out those technologies could be repurposed, modified for the greater good. Me. Now, my virus is gonna do what nature's always done. Decide who lives and who dies. And if nature decides I die, then I die. If nothing else, I'll have a lot of company. Natural selection at its finest. Helped along by a little unnatural genetic manipulation. It's all data, really. Life's just a method of processing it. The same way I processed the smallpox genome on my laptop. And who's to say that wasn't the plan all along? If, by some miracle, you survive green poison, then nature's decided you deserve to live. The rest of us shouldn't and won't. Godspeed. I'll see you in hell.